Hi there, I'm back. I receive a lot of negative contents, which I was expecting. So I selected the top two. Number two, this guy knows a lot of things, but was not able to trim his nose. Excellent. It made me lose a moment, so I trimmed my nose as requested. Number one, the one I prefer, PhD meaning permanent head disaster. It made me lot every time I read it. So now let's go to a little serious more things. I tried to explain that the so-called microsonic energy is not feasible using science, but who cares about science in YouTube? So here I propose another point of view. I was really intrigued by the video of the investors explaining that they were not granted to enter into the car. So I thought, why such a restriction? They gave money and no way to enter the car or test it just with a small trip. No test drive, nothing to test. I offered them to buy a bike, yeah, so to take to Holland. Yeah, we just put it in the... The trip was always delayed until Maxwell disappears. This, this test drive. That on Saturday morning we got a call from Maxwell that he left the country. In regards to the planned road trip to Cairo, that could have happened by now already, the safe technology replied to Chris Wobbs that they had postponed to a later date due to security reason and sabotage with, within Zimbabwe. This could be true, or it's a way for them to try walking away from a promise that they know very difficult to fulfill. Maxwell is indeed a very clever man. I will explain this assumption. He detected that everybody loves free energy. Why do I have to pay for my well-being if free energy can be available with nowadays science and technology? Consequently, he decides to go this way, but in a very clever manner. If he claims to have invented a simple generator that can run forever using radio frequency from the celestial bodies, it is fairly simple to test the generator and everything is over. His bright idea is to use devices with batteries. I will make an example for you. Everybody has now a mobile phone and the charging process is very cumbersome. Why not invent a cell phone that doesn't, doesn't need charging? No more problem, no risk of having your battery flat when you need an urgent call, no charger, no cable to carry with you, just freedom. Consequently, I invent a revolutionary mobile phone using brand new technology in the form of a circuit inside the phone, not a simple add-on. I need a name for this technology, so I choose, for example, radio frequency quantum tuning. It's just random words with no meaning. Nobody can tell me that this technology does not exist or is not known because I just invented it. I can explain that my device grabs the energy from the power losses in the antenna and uses MOSFETs to amplify the energy to charge my battery. Everyone will be happy with these explanations. The internal parts of the phone are not visible. And to protect my invention, nobody is allowed to open my magic phone. Now I need to make a show to prove that my device is working. I fully charge my unmodified phone and on stage in front of people I made a phone call. It works perfectly so I get applauses from the audience. Because I, I succeed in making the phone call, everybody present can guarantee that the magic phone works. Remember that nobody is allowed to touch my phone nor to dismantle it, and nobody cares about the level of the charge of the battery. 
Everything is fine as long as nobody is granted permission to make phone calls and mainly check the status of the battery. Now I just need to find an investor to give me money and promise to deliver the magic phone. This is exactly in the same process with Sonic Energy. It's very important to notice that he only uses equipment that include a battery, an EV car, the battery is clearly visible on old videos, a modified medium power generator or a huge power generator. In the website of his company, you find explanation about celestial body emitting radio frequency energy captured by the device. I hope that you now understand the process, exactly the same as with my magic phone. It shows us a power generator with fully charged battery inside and just two wires from, for the load. So when somebody used the generator, it works perfectly and everybody is happy with this. The same for the car and the motorcycle that was uh, visible running in the very first video with no problem. Now let's me recall that modern system using battery like the car or the low power generator possesses its own display showing the level of charge of the battery. So this is the reason why there is now independent there is no sorry independent report about the generator, the motorcycle nor the car. It is fairly simple to deduce that just by looking at the status of the battery, you are able to see that everything is wrong. The same reason investors were not allowed to go into the car. Let me add one thing. There is no need to go from Zimbabwe to Cairo. A simple test drive of 50 or 100 kilometers is fine. You just have to take a look at the battery level during your test. If the battery goes up, you are fine. But if the battery goes down, you've got a problem. In conclusion, if someone come, you, come to you with a new invention, technology which is not based on knowledge and with a device including a battery that is supposed to be recharged without any external source, be cautious. Probably one day we will see a new system that grab energy for, for example, neutrinos. The science of neutrinos is very complex and the amount of energy available is huge. Nothing to compare with radio frequency of photons. But they are very difficult to capture and they are not charged particles. Consequently, for all in case of the encounter with genus, I propose three main steps. Number one, test the device by yourself or with the help of an independent trusted people and check the le battery level in usage. Remember my magic phone. Number two, test the device by yourself or with the help of an independent trusted person and check the battery level in usage. Number three, test the device by yourself or with the help of an independent trusted person and check the battery level in usage. Remember also that the patent is never a proof that something works. The poor guy at the patent office has no way to test anything and will never build a device according to the patent instruction. So be careful. And you have to pay every year a large amount of money just to maintain your rights attached to the patent. Sometimes it may cost millions of euros. You, can't, you can avoid these fees by keeping your design perfectly secret. Because in a patent you have to protect your rights but to properly describe how to make your invention. In this manner, everyone will be capable of reproducing your original design. I'm open for discussion. This is the way we work in science and technology. But please, I need rational arguments 
because I provide mine, and please avoid just bulk sentences. I like the African guy who uses flashing white LEDs to simulate, to simulate sorry, human presence in order to protect his herd from lions. You can watch his video on YouTube. He is a real inventor. Let me finish by reminding you the words of St. Augustine. Erare humanum est perseverare diabolicum. Thank you for your attention. Arrivederci.